What's going on, YouTube? This is an update video of the 70 Nova. <clears throat> As you can see, no motor. A couple weeks ago, driving down the street and you know i was you know pushing it a little bit and um it started having a lot of blow by out of the valve covers so drove it home contacted jim branahan over at um branahan racing out in la it's where i take my car motor work everything to he did the roll cage the seats the firewall you know, firewall in the back. He does everything that I can't do to this car. Right away, he told me it sounded like I had a broken piston. So I was like, hmm, broken piston. You know, what are the chances of having a broken piston? I mean, come on. So pulled the motor out that weekend. It's like two week, two or three weeks ago. Pulled the motor out that weekend. Took it down the gym. Immediately, we took off the heads. Right when I got there, took the heads off. And lo long and behold, which one is it? Broken piston. Hmm, wow, right? That's all the shrapnel that was in the, you know, cylinder or whatever. And, uh, that's pretty bad. So that was the problem. Going through the motor a couple weeks later, because he's, you know, going through it, building it, whatnot. He finds this on another piston, which is, let's see. This one's hard to see. I don't even know how he caught it. That's how good he is. But right there. Let's see if I can. Right here. You could see a little bend where it started to lift also. Right there. And after checking the motor out and everything, um, he told me that my rings have never seated in the motor. And he said he really doesn't like the Molly rings. I had Molly gapless rings. He said he really doesn't like them. There's a lot of problems with them. So we re-ringed the motor, or he did, and got a lot of work done to it. So three weeks later, this is what I had done. New main bearings and rod bearings. These are the, the race bearings with the um, some kind of coating, I guess. I don't know what he was really talking about. Three pistons. One was damaged and the other two he didn't like. They had like a little lift or whatever, whatnot. So he ordered three pistons. 326. Ring set. Hellfire rings. These are nitrous rings. Okay. Ordered those. Those are in the motor. The heads were checked out for bad valves. The heads checked out good. No problems. They seal perfect. They charge 50 bucks to do that. Cometic head gaskets. Okay. For the pair. 175. All the gaskets. Intake manifold. Manifold were not. 29, 20 bucks. Oil pan gasket. More gaskets. 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 Um, he filled the motor up with royal purple. Synthetic oil. 7 quarts. He only charged me 895. Now... Those, those gas, those, I'm sorry, those um, quarts of oil are like 15 bucks each. So he hooked me up with those. So that's that. Um, here's the motor. I got it back today and um, put it in tomorrow. But he painted it and everything. Came out good. It's back, ready for nitrous, whatever. The only thing he said was do not spray 
the motor with this intake. There's a there's a divider on the inside and you know when you spray it needs everything needs to be even into the motor. So the divider on the inside, he said either cut it out, you know, put some rags in it, cut it out or just get a Victor Jr. or something like that. I don't know. I'm not worried about that right now. I'm just going to get the motor in the car tomorrow and, um, you know, get that all taken care of, bolted in. Um, what else? Yeah, that was probably about it. But he said to use this oil here because it has some kind of zinc in it. So royal purple 40 weight so I'll start using that but yeah this motor it always used a lot of oil and he said the rings never seated properly I guess so everything you know the hellfire rings they seat really quick so she's ready put her in tomorrow and uh Probably make a little video of the install, but she's back, ready to go. All right, guys, later.